Now you may ask why I have a box on my head. I'll tell you in a moment. Blessed, most merciful, Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg, and I plead, Lord. I beg, Lord, that you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. What you've put in my heart to speak. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dear. I want to remind you that William Seymour, he was the pastor of the Azusa Street Apostolic Church Mission and Revival in Los Angeles, California, starting in about 1906. And there they had an absolutely mighty, mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit, a move of God unseen since Jesus walked this earth. Just amazing miracles and healings went on in that place. And William Seymour, he would wear a box on his head. And uh, a lot of people, they, they didn't know why. But I think that with his head in that box, I think he, 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 he pushed out the world. And I think in that box, it was just him and God. Now, William Seymour, before he went to California, he prayed. And he, he asked somebody what he could do to get closer to God. And they told him to pray more. So he prayed more. Then when he got to California, he asked somebody what he could do to get closer to God and to get the get a revival going. And they said to double up on, on your prayers. And he went from praying four hours a day, he went to praying eight and 10 hours a day. And the Azusa Street Mission and Revival, once it started, it, it was almost nonstop. And, and he would take breaks and go upstairs and, and sleep upstairs. And when he woke up, he'd go back downstairs and start holding service again. It was just an amazing outpouring of God. And I think that that's what we need in these last days is, is an amazing outpouring of God. But I think that it's going to take prayer. I think it's going to take a lot of prayer. And I feel a call from God to double up on my prayers. So I am... I am going to start praying more. I am going to double up on my prayers. And then after I do that, then I'm going to double up again on my prayers. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to be praying 8 to 10 hours a day, but I am going to be praying a whole lot more. And uh, I think we all, we all need to start praying a whole lot more because these are the last days. And if not now, when? When? Um, also, I wanted to remind you that uh, Evan Roberts... He was the pastor of the Wales Revival. He started the Wales Revival. And th there was a mighty outpouring, a mighty move of God in Wales. And they say that the estimates are that there was 100,000 people come to Jesus and, and uh, repent of their sins in the Wales Revival. And the funny thing is that Evan Roberts, he, he never preached a sermon. He would stand up there and tell people he would call them, call them to prayer. He would call them to prayer. And one time he was supposed to uh, show up at some place for uh, a revival. And uh, for some reason he couldn't make it. And he told the, the person he was speaking to uh, about not being able to show up. He asked them, he says, do they know how to pray? And they said, well, yeah. He says, well, then have them pray. And even though he wasn't there, there was still an outpouring of God. And the Holy Spirit showed up and, and many people were saved and sanctified. They were speaking in tongues and there was healings, even though he didn't show up. So I think prayer, I think prayer is the key. And, and I think that, that we all need to start praying a lot more in these last days. And, you know, if, if we want to see a mighty move of God in these last days, I, I think, I think we, we need to pray. We need to pray and pray and pray. And be in the will of God, be pleasing to God, and be in His will and in His grace. And another thing I wanted to mention is that William Seymour, in his church, the, the uh, Azusa Street Church in Los Angeles, they they never they never passed a plate. They never really asked for money. What they did is they had a box nailed to the wall at the back of the church, and on that box was a little sign that was printed with a pen, and it said, uh, "Give unto God what." what uh, what you feel is fair and 
they, they never ask for donations. And so that way I don't really ask for donations. And, and I ask people only to give what God tells them that, that it puts in their heart to give and to donate because you know, there, there, are, there are things that have to be paid for in, in, this, uh, in this movement and, and we, have to, we have to pay bills too. And so I'm, I'm not gonna ask for money, but I will just say that whatever the Holy Spirit puts in your heart, that's, that's all I would ask. And uh, we keep all of you in our prayers. We keep all of you in our prayers. And every one of you have been a gift from God to us. And we just love you all so very, very much. And there, there's, just, there's just so many, there's so many that, that we pray for. You know, uh, Tracy in, in Canada, uh, Donna, uh, we, we pray for Donna just every time we go to prayer, we pray for Donna. And, and we pray for little Maverick. We pray for Grace, and we just we just pray for so many. We pray for so many, and and we keep all of you in our prayers. And we love you, every one of you. We love you so very much, and and we just these are the last days, and and we don't know when we're going home, but the way the world is going, it, it can't be much longer. So now now is the time. If, if not now, when when. Take a look around. Then this world is it's, it's in a bad shape. Uh, digital currency is coming in. Um, so one day soon, they're going to be doing away with our cash. So they're going to force everybody into the B system. So we we need to we need to get into prayer. We need to get into serious prayer because this world this world is getting bad. It's it's in filth and an abomination, just unbelievable. And so Jesus is coming soon to take his bride home. So we need to be prepared. We need to be prepared. And we keep all of you in our prayers. Every one of you have been a gift from God to us, and we love you all so very much. God bless you, and God keep you, each and every one of you, in his loving arms, just like he held me. And that's why I do what I do, so that I can get back to that place where I was before, back in the arms of Jesus, where I belong, and where you belong as well. Because there's no better place. There's no safer place. The love, the love of God is just is immeasurable. You can't measure with a yardstick. It's an ocean of love, with no width, no breadth, no depth thereof. It's just pure love, unbelievable, indescribable love, and that's what I felt. And Jesus, when He held me in His arms, I looked into the eyes of God. He never spoke a word, but His eyes, His eyes. They were so full of love. And his eyes, they did seem to say one thing. I love you. And I have missed you so very, very much. Oh, Lord. And I've missed you too, Lord. And we just want to go home. We just want to go home. And this world is not our home anymore. This world is not our home anymore. And we just pray that, that you come soon, Lord. But in that, we also pray that thy will be done. And we love you also very much. And we keep you all in our prayers. God bless you. God keep you. Amen. I just want to say that uh, if you need prayers, uh, if you have a family member or a friend that needs prayers, uh, uh, we have a prayer line that's open every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday. It opens at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And it goes on until 9 p.m. or the last caller. And that number is 518-318-7813. And we will be more than happy to pray for you. My co-host, his name is uh, Jamie Carson. He's a street preacher from Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, we just love you all so very much. And, and, uh, and we will pray for you and yours on the prayer line. Uh, God bless you and God keep you, each and every one of you. We love you all so very much. Amen.